Hey everybody, it's Renaissance Man. I'm gonna do a, uh, I'm gonna sample my Roland TB3, TBO3 synthesizer. Um, I wanna try sampling it to my squid sampler I just got. So here, um, I have it connected um, to my ALM Super Coupe. So the way I have it is for the output on the Roland. And what's cool about this system I just got, it has a module that converts line level external audio to Euro rock level. So it's actually a module called Milton, which is a new module. So it works really easy. You just take an external audio source, plug it in, and then, so you got one for line and then one for Euro. So you can hear it monitored on my Euro rock system. Um, and it's really cool. So I'm just gonna do a I'm gonna sample this just for fun. And so, in in uh, squid sample, let's see, yeah, I see it's better. What you have is you have, uh, this will show you, you don't want it to clip. So you wanna be able to see the, where it's flashing a little bit. So that seems pretty good. And then you can hit function record, I think. So that's to monitor it, so you can see it's pretty loud. So turn that down a bit so it doesn't blow our ear drum. It's pretty loud. So here we have this. So if we go to record, I'm going to turn this down for a minute. If you press the record button, um, you can go here and it shows uh, sample, record, replace. So it's armed. So you can do a bunch of different things. Overdub, replace, extend, so forth. So we have it armed. And if we press record, we should be able to record it. <laughs> active so actually we, I think we can stop recording okay so now if we go here okay so now I want to see if I play this back um, I just I've never used I've never done a recording before so Quality, okay, so now function. Hmm. Or if. Hmm. So anyways, that's how you record it, but now the question is how to play it back. So if we go USB. I'm gonna try another recording. I'm gonna pick an empty blank. Because this shows as being empty. Make sure to pick an empty blank. So if we, okay, so it shows empty. We can actually rename it. Uh, set name. I'm going to do... Oh, I see this is a quite a quaint interface. I'm just gonna call it Roland. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. 
And let's see if I go here. Go destination channel. We'll pick. We'll just pick uh, eight for fun. Okay, now I want to see if actually if it saved it now. Go to channel eight. Okay, interesting. So if I go USB. Oh, I did save it, cool. Okay, now we're gonna try, I'm gonna plug this back in and try to record it. Let's see, pull, directory, NP, okay, that's fine. So if I press the see. Now I wanna see if I can record it. It didn't record before, it did for it started to, but I probably just didn't do it right. function okay I want to see if I, this actually works I might have did it wrong but it's uh, at least I'm getting a signal from external audio I was trying it before and it didn't work um, so now let's see if I undo this and I guess the proof would be if it really worked. Um, if I trigger that sample, take this out. I really like this uh, little Roland TBO3 I bought. It's got a good little acid base. So I'm gonna put this aside and I'm gonna try to see if I actually record the patch. So I'm going to send a trigger from Pam to this sample eight. And then I'm going to take the output and send it to my VCA Tangle Quartet, which I like. Tangle Quartet is a really good VCA. So now. <laughs> If I go to eight, I'm gonna slow this down. It's a little too fast for me. Oh, cool, it did work. It did work. Cool. I'm so happy. I wasn't sure if it wor would work or not. I saved it to an empty blank. So that's cool. So now we go. Very cool. Very cool. So that actually did save. Now if we do, it's on, um, I'll just patch. I'll make it easier. Uh, yeah, because it's on bank eight. So um, I'll take, uh, I got to take four. I'll do a divide by, I'll just do divide by four and make it easier. See how that sounds. And then I just go to tempo, I'll slow it down a bit. cool I really like this squid sampler it's so easy to use you can record all your synths and then that way if you want to do a show you don't have to carry 30 boxes of stuff so um, I can record all my synths to a squid and it uses 11 seconds which isn't a lot of time but you can loop it and then you got some really cool stuff so now I can have a, a 
my Roland yeah. stuff, I can do like, you know, a bunch of different acid based samples from the Roland because that's what it excels at. And then I can take samples from my other scents and then I can basically have a groove box when I go places. I don't have to carry my mod a lot of modular stuff or scents, so it's pretty cool. Um, and then here you have, um, if you patch to, I think it's uh, Banks 6, 7, and 8, um, you have a like a filter type. You can pitch shift it so it's... <laughs> crush it we can take um see like here on the main menu we can get out of that so if you press on that um like here you got the quality so if we turn this up start like if you want to start playing the loop in a certain place um i know there's a way to chop it up and stuff i haven't i'm still reading the manual but you can do it's really easy to use like you can you can pick you can also let's see reverse I think hold the reverse button down <laughs> this is really fun. Fun. So that's pretty trippy. So if we need, now, so I get to acid beat. So if I want to patch in a um, drum beat, I can do that too. So if I go patch in a clock from Pam, I can do that. <laughs> Interesting. So I'm trying to think, figure out if it's possible with Squid Sample, um, if you can patch in like a load of USB, um, different beats. Cause I, I don't know if the architecture have to read up and ask, you know, on busy circuits. If you load a bank, does it load it to all eight? Or can you load different samples to each bank? Cause here it looks like, you know, like if you go here to channel eight, I want to load something like I'm going to take 90, which is what I had. I'm going to load that and see if I play back what happens. See if that works. Um, yeah, I think it's a limitation on my part or a limitation on the module, but it's really cool. At least I figured out how to sample i couldn't figure that out before but the key is this milton is really good is a new module in, in the uh, aom super coop system so it's really useful so yeah i hope you found it's helpful it's cool with sampling stuff cheers <laughs>